healthy biome is an environment where everything works synergistically to promote well-being. It's balanced. It is full of beneficial bacteria and all of the other components that allow health to flourish. So good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. People typically come to me after they've exhausted multiple resources. They've often been left with a wrong diagnosis or they've been misdiagnosed by very well-intentioned practitioners who just don't realize that they're dealing with an environmentally based illness. When we went to traditional doctors, they handed him a pill and said, I'll see you in a year. And for that, for me, that was not good enough. And so we have just been searching and looking and asking for answers. Well, my son, he's 12 years old, and a few months ago, he was diagnosed with Tourette's. And that was a shock to me. And um, I remember crying at the doctor's office, at the pediatric neurologist's office, because it was so new to me. And he prescribed him medication, and I googled the heck out of that medication, and it scared me, because some side effects were about making him into a zombie or make him a totally different child. People will go years with health issues that get diagnosed as um, Tourette syndrome, as multiple sclerosis, as asthma, as chronic sinus infections, all of these various illnesses. And yes, they're actually experiencing those. But what they don't realize is that, that there's an environmental issue in their home, in their school, in their workplace that is led them to that stage of illness and issue. I could see my son ticking. His arms were ticking, his legs were ticking. He had a stomach tick, he had a facial tick too, and a neck tick. It was, it was hurting me, you know. And my friend now, who is Pam Holloway, and she just, you know, gave me a lot of advice as to how to go about it. A lot of times problems percolate and they develop over time. So it will start with being fatigued and we'll think, oh, I'm just working too hard or I'm just starting to get a little older or things like that. Other times um, we'll know that we've experienced an issue, but we'll underestimate the level of the impact of that issue. You know, some people might call it coincidence. I don't. But um, as we research things, um, you'll have uh, discoveries that, you know, will complement each other, different things that come up, and it, it just flows together. So you're, you're like, wow, the Lord is just really opening our eyes to this issue, and then he brings in, you know, the solution to that. People can heal, and they will heal. They need to get into a clean, safe environment. They need to take control of their diet. They need to spend time in the outdoors, spending time in nature, getting fresh air, and right along with that, hold every thought captive. Find that place of peace and rest and joy that gives them purpose and a way ahead. My son right now is almost asymptomatic. He really has a very good quality of life now. Whether you are in a brand new home, you're in a home that's 10 years old, or you're in a home that's 50 years old or even 100 years old, it is critical that you evaluate your home environment as a part of what makes up your environment, your healthy biome. Yeah, it is a biome. It's a living entity. It has its own biology. It has all sorts of different things that are within that environment that then impact your biome all the way down to your microbiome. It is critical to evaluate to make sure that that biome is healthy. Because if that biome's not healthy, your biome will not be healthy. <laughs>